Hello everybody, in this basic Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, I would like to talk about the essential of sets, namely about range and series. Okay, let's start. Basically, range and series can be assessed from the sets sequence section. Okay, let's start by talking about range. Okay, so I'm going to drop the range inside and let's put a panel so that we can see the results being churned out. Okay. Basically, the range can be used to create evenly distributed numbers from an upper and lower limit. Okay. The limit is set at the domain section. So I'm going to Use the number slider to input a number, okay? And then let's create a number slider for the steps input, okay? Okay, as you can see, these are the results, okay? Basically, um, what range does is that in this case here, it distributed a set of numbers evenly ranging from 0 to 12 as dictated by the domain input over here and the number of steps that are used to do the distribution was determined by the input over here at the steps okay as you can see it starts from uh, 0 to 9 in our case here, okay? Okay, what if um, the range that you require doesn't start from 0 as in the case here? Okay, to do that, you can use the construct domain component. You can go to maths, okay? Domain, construct domain, okay? In the construct domain, there is a domain start and a domain end, okay? which you can use to uh, set the upper and the lower limit, okay? So I'm going to do that now. So let's say, uh, let's put a panel. Let's set our uh, start to say 5. Okay, remember not to press the enter. Otherwise, this will not work, okay? So click here. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Alt, okay? And let's change this to 20. Okay. And let's plug this to the domain. Okay. Now you can see that we have created a set of our evenly distributed numbers ranging from 5 to 20 as dictated by the construct domain component and the step is 9, 0 to 9 as dictated by the steps input, okay? There's another way to uh, do this that does not require the construct domain, okay? So let me show you. Basically, you can do that by going to the panel and type, okay? The upper and lower limit. Okay, so 5 is the low limit, type 2, okay, the upper limit is 20, okay, and click okay, and then connect it over here, and you can see, yeah, we are getting the same result, okay, so this is another way that we can create a range that is not starting from 0, okay. Okay, now I'm done with talking about range. Let's talk about series. Okay. So let's uh, go to the set sequence and drop a series. Okay. And I'm going to create the panel again. So that we can see the results that we turn out. Okay, I'm going to create three sliders. Pressing the Alt key to duplicate the sliders. Okay, let's set the start to 1. 
Okay, that's step to 2. And the count will leave it as 9. Okay. And you can see uh, over here, this is the result that we turn out. Basically, the start determine the first number. Okay, in this case, uh, it's 1. And the steps determine the increments. Okay, that means in this case here, we got a 1 plus 2. Okay, 2 is our step. So, there are subsequent increments of 2. Okay, resulting in the numbers that's been created. So, you can see uh, from here, 3 increment of 2 will be 5 and 5 increment of 2 will be 7 and so on and so forth. Okay, so the step is the increment value and then the count is the number of time you repeat this increment okay here we need to be aware of uh peculiarity is that in the case of the count here the final number is not the same as the one that we input okay basically is the input minus one over here okay see it's input minus one over here Okay, so this is a point to be aware of, okay? So, you might be wondering, what is the use of generating all these numbers? Okay, basically, these numbers can be very useful for creating multiple objects or entities, okay? And I'm going to do a very simple demonstration here to illustrate this aspect, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these numbers that have been generated to create a set of points, okay? So I can go to Vector, Point, Construct Point, okay? And let's also be able to see the Rhinos perspective okay so from here i'm going to use the generator numbers to input into the x and y coordinates okay and you can see the result in rhino's 3d environment okay okay so this is just a very simple uh, example cost we can use this number generation tools to create a lot of other wonderful stuff, okay? With that, I come to the end of this demonstration. See you around. Bye!